Well, there you see the chip count. Adam Geyer out front, 7.6 million. That's what they're playing for. The winner tonight, taking home nearly $1.3 million. All right, Andy's going to start at 10,000. Barnes are 40 at 80. Here we go at the Bay 101 Shooting Star. Action on the very lovely Maria Ho, and she's going to quickly fold to the ace nine. Let me add, she's the last remaining shooting star in this tournament. Bunch of folds. Brian Pacioli from Vegas on the short stack, won't play, and now... Well, the man of the night so far, Adam Geyer, is the chip leader. And just has a 9-6 offsuit, but he is going to call here. The German Stefan Schilhabel with queen three. Not going to raise, and we are going to the flop. Flop is ace, queen five. Well, these are the two chip leaders here. Adam checks, Stefan checks two queens. And now a deuce comes off. Adam with zip and pip, absolutely nothing. Not going to take a play here, checks it. And Stefan also checking. Board pairs deuces on the river. Now Adam's got to realize that the only way he could possibly win the pot is to bet at it. Is it too late to do so and get away with it? That's the question. Well, because of the soft play by Stefan, he is going to take a stab. He makes a bet of 125. And the German with Queens will make the insta call. Easy call with two Queens here. Stefan going to take down this pot. Stefan Schilhabel, living in Brighton, England right now. He's 29 years old. Learned to play poker with friends in Germany. Yeah, he's been playing for eight years. It's his second WPT cash, his first final table. On to the next hand. Angelco, who lives in Miami right now, has a jack eight. He'll quickly fold that. Griffin Paul from LA goes out. Brian taking a rest. Back to Adam. He's got a jack eight on the button. Just calls. Stefan with the garbage 9 4 off suit. I'm surprised he's calling here as tight as he's played all night long. But he is calling, and Maria looks down at a 9 5 off suit, happy to get a free flop. So we're going to have three way action here going to the flop. Yep, three junk hands up against each other. And the flop is a king 9 5, two pair for Maria Ho. Stefan checks his two nines, Maria checks two pair. She's hoping Adam's going to bluff at the pot. That doesn't happen. He checks also. Now an ace comes off. And because nobody raised before the flop, you're not really going to put anybody on an ace here. Stefan checks it, and Maria. She's going to bet on the turn here to try to get some value out of this hand. Doesn't want to get checked at all the way to the river. Got to stick out 165. Adam is out. Now, will Stefan call her with two nines? Probably not. She didn't bet the flop. You don't put her on a king. She didn't re raise before the flop out of the big blind, so you're not really going to put her on an ace. Might call with the two nines here, Vince. He's drawing dead. Maria's been very aggressive tonight so far, but hasn't worked out too well. But finally, she's going to pick up the hand with a junk hand, nine to five. Crowd loves it. And I'm happy to announce we're revamping the way that we market passports, introducing WPT Global Passport Dollars. WPT Passport Dollars give you the flexibility to choose which WPT events you'd like to attend when you win a satellite package. Not only can you choose your WPT package from dozens of tour stops around the world, you can also break down your package into several smaller events if you so choose. Start earning your passport dollars. Sign up to WPT Global by clicking the link in the description. Use bonus code YT16 and we'll match your first deposit, dollar for dollar. Into the next hand on the money pit, couple folds around to Adam Gaia, and Adam has picked up the best hand in poker before the flop, pair of aces. Gotta love it. Makes it 175 to go. Now, right behind him, Stefan with a little pair of threes. This guy's been so conservative all night long. And now, all of a sudden, he's going to three bet. The one time his opponent's got two aces. 
with his two little threes here. At least it looks like he's going to. Indeed, he does. 460,000 to bet. Oh, no. Wow, wow, wow. Maria Ho sucked in with Ace King Big Slick. A tremendous hand as well. All in. She's got a shelf. Yeah, please. you can't blame her for going all in here, Vince. You have to do it with this hand. Of course. How much? And Adam, he asked how much, Vince, like he cares how much it is. He's got two aces, but the reason he's asking is he's trying to get Stefan, who three bet behind him, to come into this pot as well. Mm -hmm. He knows he's going to play with Maria, but it's Stefan he's trying to lure in here. Yep, yep. acting jobs allowed. Call. He's just calling. Stefan doesn't bite. He lays his hand down, and poor Maria up against it here. Ace King versus two aces. That's the one hand you just can't stand to see if you have Ace King. What a horrible night for Maria so far. Can she possibly get lucky to stay alive, Vince? Adam Geyer running so well, it's unbelievable. Two giant hands up against each other. Maria now, long shot to win this. Five cards to come. Here we go, Mike. Oh, the flop is a nine, five, four. Uneventful for Maria Ho. It's gotta come king, king for Maria to win the pot. If it comes deuce three, they would split the pot. And I'm certain Maria would love to do just that. Yeah, just a bad flop. Here we go to the turn. Yeah, she could be drawn dead after this card. And it's a six. It's six over. of clubs comes off. So that's going to do it for Maria Ho. Vince, you got to hand it to her. She didn't come to this final table looking to move up. She came to win. Unfortunately, the card didn't fall away. More than anything else, Maria Ho out in six place. That's right. She's the last bounty. She is gone. Going to take over 179,000. Well, she's signing her to bounty right now, Vince, as you can see. Adam's going to collect 2500 in cash. He'll go along with that huge pot. But he's got his eyes set right now on the 1.3 million that goes to the champion. The great Maria Hope out right now. Let's go talk to Maria. Maria, obviously a tough night tonight. It didn't go your way. Does it make it any easier that you have your family here? Yeah, for sure. I have so many people that flew in just to come watch this. I wish I could have put on a little better of a show for them. But honestly, I just got cooler today. So. There's nothing you could do about that. <laughs> well, five players left. Adam Geyer, the nice chip leader now with 9.6 million. Vince, he's had aces twice. Both times Maria had big hands. Once she had two jacks against him. The other time, the ace king of hearts, they cost her. Yeah, unfortunate for her. She's gone. We are down to five. Action on Brian Pacioli. He's on the short stack at this point. He will fold the hand. Adam going out as well. Stefan has an 8-7 offsuit, but he is going to raise it to 180,000. Wow. Angelco has a pair of aces this time. Well, just incredible how many times we're seeing aces here. What an exciting moment it has to be for Angelco. He's going to raise the 500. Griffin Paul folds his hand, so back on Stefan. And he's going to get out as well. So Angelko Andreevic taking down that pot. All right, back down to the money pit. Now Stefan with Jack 10. And he's going to raise it to 175,000. Into Angelko. Look at Angelko's got ace king this time. Back to back. Gigantic hands. And he likes his hand, of course. Makes it 475 to go. And now Griffin Paul releases that into Brian. And Brian, oh, amazing. Three times in a row, aces have come up. Unbelievable. Well, Brian Pacioli on the short stack here. Certainly is going to ship it here with two aces. All in. Pacioli finally, yeah, he's going to push all in with it. Insta call by Angelco. Well, incredibly, we just saw Maria Ho go out when she had ace king of hearts up against Adam Geyer's two aces. And now Brian's got the aces. Angelco with the ace king. Can the aces break another player with five cards to come? To make things worse for Angelco, he's got the king of diamonds. And as you can see, 
Brian with the ace of diamonds, so he can't make a flush in diamonds. Oh, boy. Oh, he caught a king on the flop. He did. The jack nine on the flop. So if it comes queen 10, they would split the pot. If another king comes out there, Angelco will win the pot. Brian will be gone. Most likely. Here we go to the turn. Let's see if anything crazy happens. Not there, six of diamonds. Only way Angelco can win the pot is to make three kings. Otherwise, Brian is gonna double up. Yes, a complete reversal of fortune. If that should happen, down to the river we go. Let's hope you're not Matt Salisbury. <laughs> I'm better. <laughs> there you go. And the river card. <laughs> Let's take a look. So the 26-year-old from New York, now living in Las Vegas, been playing poker for 10 years. Action's on Stefan, and he quickly folds his hand. And Jelko now with a king six, won't play. Over to Griffin Paul, going for a second WPT title tonight. He is out. And now the short stack, Brian Piccioli with ace five of spades. He's up against the chip leader in the big blind, but I am shocked that he didn't raise with this hand pre-flop, but he just limped in and called. Yep, he lets Geyer get in with a queen three. Yep, gonna give Adam a free flop here. So ace five versus queen three. And flop is ace ten nine. Now what do you do with aces? He didn't raise before the flop. Do you bet the flop? Well, Brian says yes. 105,000. Adam with none of that. Gonna give it up. So Brian does take down the pot. He is 26 years old, lives in Vegas, learned how to play poker in college. He dropped out soon after to play poker. <laughs> he loves electronic dance music, started DJing. Very competitive. His dad was a high school tennis coach. In fact, his dad's played No Limit Hold'em for more than 20 years himself. Pretty impressive, okay. On to the next hand, a quick fold, and now Griffin Paul from Los Angeles with a pair of sevens. Yeah, picks up the two walking sticks. He's gonna raise it to 200,000. Brian out. Our chip leader, Adam, with a nothing hand, so he won't play, and now Stefan with a jack six. How much do you play? 2.7, thank you. This junk hand, the guy's played so conservative all night long. But he does lay it down. So Griffin Paul taking down that pot. Much to the light of his friends and family. We're some of the greatest supporters we've seen on the WPT events. We saw that when he won his last title. Well, they come out in full support of Griffin every time he makes a final table, which he's done tonight. Here he's gonna raise it with the ace nine. Makes it 200,000 to go. And Brian behind him with a queen jack. Likes his hand, makes the call. Well, Adam Geyer has the suited cards you like to see flops with, but he has to fold. Adam and Stefan both. Stefan out, and Joko out. Joko 2.5-ish. Griffin has him covered in chips slightly. Ace nine versus queen jack. Two tough young players going at it. The flop is a 10-10-7, but two hearts. Yeah, no help to either player. Griffin is going to check. Yeah, no continuation bet. Brian checks right behind him. And now the queen comes off. It's the queen of hearts. She gives Griffin Paul the nut flush draw. Action's on him. Well, yeah, but Brian there hitting top pair there with queens. Well, Griffin's going to bet the ASI flush draw. 330,000. Now what do you do with two queens? Brian just doubled up with the aces. A few He's hands. He's gonna back. call with the two queens. Wants to keep his money. Like to win this hand. Let's take a look at the river. No, it's a nine of hearts. This gives Griffin the nut flush, the ace high flush. Dream card for Griffin. What do you do with it? 
Brian with no flush, of course, just queens and tens. Griffin from LA, like to extract the most he can. Let's see the size of the bet. Wow, that's a big bet, Vince. 875,000 into a pot that's got 1.2 million in it. The question is, is it too big a bet to get called with? Brian knows literally all we can beat is a bluff here with his two queens with four hearts on the board. But he makes a good lay down. So Griffin Paul picks up the pot. There's his family and friends are loving it. Griffin Paul coming back in a nice way. And I'm happy to announce we're revamping the way that we market passports. Introducing WPT Global Passport Dollars. WPT Passport Dollars give you the flexibility to choose which WPT events you'd like to attend when you win a satellite package. Not only can you choose your WPT package from dozens of tour stops around the world, you can also break down your package into several smaller events if you so choose. Start earning your passport dollars. Sign up to WPT Global by clicking the link in the description. Use bonus code YT16 and we'll match your first deposit. Dollar for dollar. They are good. All right, on to this hand. Griffin Paul now with King Seven of Diamonds. Yeah, limps in on the button. Brian at this point with a Queen Jack, not going to raise. He also calls, and Adam going to get a free flop here. So we're going to have three way action. Who will get lucky? Here comes the flop. It is a 10 8 8. Two spades. Brian's going to check his gut shot straight draw. Adam also has a gut shot straight draw. He will check. And Griffin, who has nothing, he does have the best hand with the king high, though. He's going to bet. Yeah. 125,000. He's got nothing but guts. This young 23 year old, super aggressive, always firing. But he's going to get called by Brian. Yeah, Brian's got the two over cards, the gut shot straight draw. He makes the call. Adam goes out. And a nine comes off, and just like that, Brian has made it straight. What a card. It is quite a card. His opponent drawing dead, as you can see. But Brian is going to lead out. Rather than check here with a check raise possibility, he leads out for 320,000. How little does he know? Griffin, really, with nothing. Well, it's an opening straight draw events, but it's the weak side straight. Griffin gets away from it. So Brian is going to take down this pot. The fence probably wishes he would have checked here to let Griffin have a shot to bluff at it. But you got to be content. Brian taking down that pot. Starting to get on a little heater. Okay, action on Angelco. And he quickly folds his hand to the LA base. Griffin Paul, WPT champ. He has a 9 10 of diamonds. And when he covers his mouth, he's going to play the pot, which he does here. Bets 200,000. On his left, Brian with a decent king jack. He's on the button in position. What do you do with Kojak here? You three bet it to 500,000 if you're Brian. And now Adam will lay down king nine. Stefan quickly jacks a pair of eights. Back on Griffin. Well, Griffin's gonna make the call here, so we're going to the flop with over 1.1 million in the pot. And the flop is a jack, 6-4, two of them diamonds. What a flop. Four flush for Griffin. He's going to check it. And now we know top pair, of course, for Brian. Well, we can see fireworks here, Vince. Flush draw versus top pair. Short-handed poker. Brian Pacioli, he ain't checking. He's going to bet this. 575,000 is the bet. Now, Griffin does have Brian covered in chip count. He wants to know how many Brian's got right now. So if he plays this pot and loses it, he will still be alive, but won't have that many chips. Five or 600,000 is all. All in. Well, he's going to fire all in. I call. And Brian has made the call. So here we go. Brian out in front with the two jacks. Kenny Dodge, the draw out of Griffin Pole. Griffin looking for a diamond to take the lead. He could hit two runners to make a straight. He could also hit a combination of two tens and nines to make two pair to win the pot. One diamond. Oh, baby. 
Come on. Come on. We can do it. Can Griffin's do it. dances. Come on, you can do this. All we gotta do is hit a diamond. Diamond, baby! You saw it happen once before on the WPT. He's with the family. Is it gonna be a diamond? No, three of hearts right there. Well, we're down to the river. Griffin must catch a diamond on the river. Otherwise, Brian will double up again. That's right. And almost knock out Griffin Paul. He'll be down to his last half million. Here we go to the river. No diamond. Well, hugs and kisses all around. Big hit for Griffin Paul right there, Mike. Well, it really was. For him to win his second WPT title tonight, he's got to come from way behind to do it, no doubt about it. He opted to gamble with the flush draw, didn't pay off. Five left, let's get back to the table. Turn those suited connectors. Andy's are now up to 15,000, blinds of 50 and 100. And back on Griffin, who is down to that little short stack. He's got ace queen here. I well, match he's only got six big blinds. You, go. you love picking up a hand like this when you have six big blinds. He has shipped it like anybody would do. Adam's asked for a count. And our chip leader, Adam, with ace nine. Well, Adam knows he would ship it with a lot less hands than ace queen. Got to think ace nine might be the favorite against this guy. He certainly got plenty of chips. And he is going to make this call. Stefan out around to Angelco. He's got ace king. Then he's moved all in over the top. Michael. Adam quickly calls it. And he's got the worst hand of the three. Yeah, there's a side pot. Three way action. Two guys are all in. The guy with the worst hand, the chip leader, could be in trouble. And Jelko in great shape here. He's got ace king up against ace queen and ace nine. You couldn't ask to be in better shape for your money than that. Well, that's the way Adam Geyer has been running. He's been catching cards. Now can he come from behind to win a pot? We shall see. Gets a lucky nine on the flop, but see. See if he can do it. Impossible. Adam Geyer could take out two players in one blow here. If his hand holds up from here. He's got to dodge a king or a queen. Going to the turn. Fourth three coming up. To six. Oh, six comes off. So we are down to the river. Adam Geyer can dodge a king or a queen here. He'll bust two players. We'll have three left just that quickly. And Vince, if it ends like this, and Jelko will get the higher finishing position because he started the pot with more chips. So that means... Well, don't get ahead of yourself. Well, Griffin Poe would finish in fifth, and Jelko would finish in fourth, but those guys looking out draw their opponent right now by catching the king or queen. Let's see if they can do it. All right, just burn and turn. Let's take a look. Vince, you've heard it running good and playing good. Well, we're seeing it right now. It's a seven, seven, good Just incredible how well this guy is running. And he now takes a commanding chip lead with three players left. Tough luck for Angelco. He had the best hand there. He could have way more than doubled up there and got right in the hunt to win this thing. But as it is, he's going to end up in fourth place. Griffin Paul is going to end up in fifth place. Those two are gone, Rince. Wow. All right. They're going to pick up 231 and 331, respectively. Let's go talk to the bad beat pair. Well, Griffin, sometimes you come up against a guy that's just running super hot. I mean, what do you have to say about Adam tonight? Yeah, I mean, he ran well and played incredible, so there's there's nothing you can do when that happens. And Joko, you also had a, a very good night, but uh, finishing fourth place, a good, good score. Um, yeah, it's a little disappointing. Uh, obviously, came here to win and maybe lead player of the year, but happens as poker. All right, good job, Joko.